Hey, Flick from the Nerd Soapbox here at uh, Comic Con Revolution in Ontario, California. And uh, I'm here with actor Peter Shinkoda. Hi, Peter. Hey, Flick. How are you? Uh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, you. How's sir. your con so far? Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh. It's about halfway through the first day. I'm having a good time. Very good, very good. So you might uh, recognize Peter from uh, Daredevil and also from Falling Skies. Yeah, I love both those shows, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but, good taste, Flick. Nope, Dale, thank you very much. So I wanted to ask you, but uh, first, start off, uh, what was John Woo like to work with? Oh, wow, and, good uh, question. Paycheck. I love me some John Woo. Yeah, me too. Uh, it was a thrill. John Woo, um, clearly a bunch of Hong Kong movies that yeah. most of us cinephiles have seen. Chow is like one of the best actors around yeah. in the world. He's, he's amazing and a humble man, I, I understand. Yeah. Rides the bus through Hong Kong. Uh, working wow. with John Woo was awesome because of his big... Um, is 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 his uh, library of movies that he's done? You know, yeah. I'm a big fan. So when I landed a part, even though it was a small part, I was thrilled. You know, it's like the first 10, 15 minutes of paycheck. I had a scene with uh, Paul Giamatti and uh, Ben Affleck, and uh, uh, of course John Woo yeah. being a president on the set. You know, he gave me a lot of direction. He came up to me after a delivery of one one line. He came up to me, you are you are very funny. You are very funny, Peter. Oh. And I was beside myself, you know, the hero, hero of mine, so working with him was huge, it's off the, you know, it's off the, even though it was a small part, off the bucket list, I have been directed by John Woo, so it was a huge thrill. Wow, okay, you know. okay, so how did, your character in Falling Skies, you know, kind of a brooding, uh, quiet uh, type, yes, 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 uh, the guy that takes care of things, gets things done, um, how did you, how did you arrive at that character, where did that character, you know, um, were you given a specific direction? It was pretty much uh, a well thought out, well fleshed out uh, character on paper before right. I, I, I brought the to it. Um, it was be between Steven Spielberg and uh, Mr. Bob Rodat, okay. the writer. And Steven Spielberg's story and Bob Rodat wrote the uh, script. He wrote Saving Private Ryan. Right. Uh, they had a lot of ideas for my character, which was on screen. Man of not many words, uh, a person who got things uh, taken care of, um, right. very... Um, Economical with his kills. Okay. Um, it was based off the, the the Silent Samurai character from Seven Samurai, which is Spielberg's favorite um, uh, movie. Also, the you know uh, the James Coburn quiet gun right, right, guy right. from uh, Magnificent Seven. Okay. So it was modeled after that. But at the same time, they said we also want you to be very much uh, in, in tune with the kids. Okay. Kind of like Charles Bronson's character from Magnificent Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the way they explained it to me, and um, they forced me to watch a bunch of movies of <laughs> brooding tough oh, no. guy types. So. Forced you to watch The Seven Samurai. Oh no! I've seen that a few times. You know, film school. Like, okay, okay. What was your fandom growing up? Comics, cars, sports, all of it. Yeah, yeah. All of it. Oh, fantastic! Played all sports, martial arts, all Western sports. No right. basketball because I really. Like Asian guys can't play basketball, really. I know there's Jeremy Lin, but I just sold out a whole bunch of Asians. But okay, maybe it was me. I wasn't good at basketball, <laughs> but everything else I played. Um, I loved everything popular. You know, of course, I like pop music. I'm not much Cindy Lauper. Maybe a little bit more The Cure, The Smiths kind of ah, thing. Okay. But it's clear, it's, as far as movies are concerned, I watch everything. All right. Everything. Everything from sci-fi movies to to uh, whatever limited superhero movies that were out there. Okay. Um, clearly, I was a big Spielberg fan. In fact, oh, yeah. auditioned for uh, Short Round, uh, the character in really? uh, Indiana Jones. That was my first audition ever in life. You have to say, call him Dr. Jones, dog. Yeah, that's Dr. <laughs> Jones to you, lady. You know, yeah, of course. And um, it, was, it was on from then. So once I did land uh, Steven Spielberg's Falling Skies, that was a... Uh, Massive. Another one off the bucket list. It was a massive one. Yep. It was a massive oh. one. Uh, wow. Yeah. Were you a fan of uh, Daredevil before you got the... Uh, Again, huge the fan. Old Nobu? Yeah, I have stacks and stacks of uh, comics at home. Uh, mainly uh, Spider-Man and Daredevil. Right. Specifically Frank Miller's run where he introduced Elektra and the, the Japanese organization, The Hand. If you've got so. uh, hot chocolate and mini marshmallows, I uh, I see a sleepover in the future. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Oh, wow. All right. All right. So, how fun is uh, Daredevil to work on? I mean, it looks grueling. Your fight scenes. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm glad that you said that, like, because um, the fight scenes are grueling. <laughs> People think that you know you, you just wake up and um, you're capable of doing that. There's a lot of rehearsals that are uh, uh, are, are um, 
unneeded. Um, there's long hours. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if people know that uh, the, a lot of the, the movements, a lot of the uh, the sequences that we're shooting take. You're putting in 110 percent effort, using all your strength and um, you know, concentration, day. and we're doing it day in, day out, piece by piece yeah. for sometimes eight days in a row. Oh, yeah. I had trouble. And I'm sure I didn't discuss it with Charlie Cox, who plays Daredevil, but I'm sure that he also had trouble getting up in the bed, out of bed in the morning, and hobbling to work because um, it was tough. Oh, yeah. and, and 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 I think nobody would argue that a lot of my material in Daredevil was either dialogue or just pure fighting, and I fought Daredevil the most. So oh, yeah. it was um, it was exhausting. It was uh, exhilarating. What kind of trip did you have to go through before the fights? What kind of? I'm sorry. What kind, I'm sorry. What kind of prep? You know, uh, oh, yeah. a lot of prep. I, I went on the weekends and I met up with uh, the, the stunt team. Right. I uh, met up uh, exclusively with one stunt coordinator to, to help train with uh, my chain weapon. Um, you know, I do everything I could to to somehow uh, lend to a you know the better execution of the right. of, of, our, of the, the the show and uh, certainly how, the fight scenes. So. How much of the flipping and tumbling was you? Uh, the, the flipping. Or the tricking, yeah. none of them me because I can't oh. do flips. Okay, okay. No. So uh, Steven Spielberg, Stan Lee, John Wu. Yeah. Yeah. What else is on that list? Joe Dante. Oh yeah. Uh, James Cameron was about to direct me in a Dark Angel, which was about to appear oh. on season three, but it got wow. canceled after he directed season two finale. But I was working with him a lot in that second to last episode of that right. series, which I was in. And I had to. I got to have lunch with him. He approved all my makeup because my character was supposed to be a big. It was a big launch into the three season three, which never happened. Oh. So, to me, I've worked with. Yeah, James Cameron. Yeah, yeah. and it's Spielberg fantastic. was on the set of the pilot, so he did sit in and directed me a bunch one day too. So I also feel that. Well, I know that I was directed by Spielberg yeah. as well. So what's so next? It's huge. Um, right now, I, I just finished two uh, films that I shot in Hawaii back to back. Uh, they're going to be coming oh. out soon. But right now, I've actually uh, I've taken the, the leap into producing. So I've got uh, a few projects that um, I'm ramping up. One of them is a TV series uh, that uh, we almost got full financing for, and it's about a, a, a Japanese samurai banished from Japan. All right. At the, during the Meiji Restoration, that's when Japan got oh, yeah. lost all the uh, the, the samurais and uh, adopted the whole the Western democracy and then the military and the guns. So, anyways, uh, this uh, this uh, samurai at that period of changeover finds himself in the Wild West, California, oh, yeah. Arizona. He gets right. deputized, becomes a cowboy, and out cowboys the cowboys. Have you, have you seen Red Sun? Is that with the, and Bridget Bardo, Toshiro Mifune, yeah. and Bridget Bardo. Yes, yes I have. Yeah. I love that. That's it. Sounds like something that I would love to see. And a French actor. I don't know. Aline Dion. Right. And it's yeah. about a sword. Yeah. On a train. On a train. Yeah. Yes, I had thought about that. We had discussed that as we were conceptualizing this show. So it's like it's, this, only better. I don't think I'll be walking around in any Japanese garb. I think that um, we're going to investigate. Maybe the first episode. Or like no, half, he's when already he first gets there. He's already in flashbacks, perhaps. Oh, yeah, flashback yeah, there you go. Japan, yeah. But yeah. a lot of it, it's going to show him. Out cowboying right. the cowboys. Oh. Hey, we've seen enough Hollywood movies where these white guys are better ninjas than the Japanese guys that developed the art form for a thousand years, right? Well, yeah. for once we're going to subvert this and we're going to make a cowboys not as good as this Japanese cowboy. That's going to be the focus of the series. I like that. And of course, uh, we're going to include a whole bunch of other colorful characters. Okay. Literally, like maybe Navajo Indian, the oh, ride in the posse, uh, uh, you know, a female that uh, just went. A wall from the Pony Express. Diversity and Diversity. representation. Right. Uh, an escaped slave from Mississippi. Right. So it's going to roll in a posse of uh, uh, you know unsavory characters, except they <laughs> will be the heroes. All right. Yeah. All right. Are you on social media? I am. You can find me at uh, Instagram at Peter Shinkoda. Please follow me. All right. And uh, well, my Facebook is Facebook's all hooked up. My personal Facebook. You can follow me on my fan page. Okay. Official on Facebook. Or at Peter Shinkota on um, on Twitter. Fantastic. Well, thanks for talking to me. Yeah, what about yourself? Like, where, where can I find you? Oh, I'm on uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram and Twitter. Okay. Oh, yeah. Consider yourself followed, man. Whoa. You are followed. Whoa. Boy. Hey, I, are you related to Grover? All right. No, I'm not. No? Nope. And uh, contractually and uh, legally, I'm not a, uh, I'm a puppet. You certainly With a P, not a, yeah, a puppet. One, Can't man. say the M word. Can't say the M word.
God, those bureaucrats. Yeah. Really, huh? Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet here, you. Put it there again, man. Uh, your hand. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Well, let's see who else we can find to talk to at uh, Comic Con Revolution. Yeah. Here, I'll put it here. Little uh, Nobu. Oh. <laughs>